Yeah, ho, ho, what is going on, guys? Stiff, and we're back on the Madden NFL 16 regular teams tournament action gameplay. And today, we are going to be showing casing you guys a recording from the Coach K Compete Forever $10,000 or $5,000 tournament that was held in Rochelle Park, New Jersey, I believe it was, or it was somewhere else in, in New Jersey. But it was uh, one of the big headliners for this year, the first major tournament, I believe, for Madden NFL 16. I'm going to be going up against my boy Orozo. I played him last year in Madden 25 or Madden 15 Ultimate Team uh, when I went to Coach K. They had a Mutt tournament. I played him there. And also, make sure you guys subscribe to Coach K. Go check out his website, um, CompeteForever.com. Links will be in the description. He's also got a $2,000 tournament coming up, I believe, October 24th. Um, so make sure you guys go check that out if you guys are interested in the tournament scene. And also, if you guys have not noticed, I will be in AC this weekend. So I will be uh, competing for like $15,000 in the tournament in AC. So make sure you guys go check that out. Not sure what the live stream is going to be, but I do know it's going to be in AC. So wish me luck there. Um, so yeah, anyway, we got the Coach K tournament. Uh, we are both going to be the Packers. I am the white Packers, he is the yellow Packers. So let's get into the gameplay, because I have not hit that yet. Had to go over a little bit of an intro. So right here, we're going to be a second and goal. We're just going to cap this bad boy off with Eddie Lacy. Now, I was the Seattle Seahawks the second half of this tournament, just because I wanted the defense. And uh, I maybe I shouldn't have done that. Now, for you guys, I did not win the tournament, obviously. I went to the Sweet 16. I actually lost to Shine, the person I beat last year for the... $4,000 or $3,000 tournament last year in Madden 15. I beat him in the finals. I actually lost to him in the Sweet 16, so he's a great opponent. Uh, definitely uh, looking forward to seeing him in AC if he goes. So anyway, let's get in th more into this gameplay. Uh, so Arozo is definitely a good player. He's got the Green Bay package. He's going to go up with that aggressive catch. We're going to get the good batted down ball. We're going to get the tip drill, but we don't end up getting the pick. 39, 39, he's dropping back. He's going to find an open out route. But it's going to be fourth down, fourth and three. We're playing good D. We're playing good D. We're playing good D. He's rolling out, and he's going to take off with Aaron Rodgers and get the first down. Two-minute warning has just hit. First and ten, he's going to drop back, find a wide-open wheel route, and he will get all the way down to the three-yard line. We're going to start using up our timeouts. And this is also kind of good for you guys to see uh, some instrumental or see how I work in a tournament atmosphere. And it's regular teams because I know some of you guys want to see regular teams. Uh, if you guys really want to see regular teams, I'll show you guys some regular teams the only thing is that when I go into the play ranked matches um, I play a lot of like not really good people I blow them out and I don't want to show that on YouTube that's really boring I might have to do money games for you guys but let me know in the comment section but uh, the first half is about to get underway but we still got 29 seconds we dot them up the right side with the corner route we do the possession catch and then we're gonna cap it off with the flat route to the left side to Eddie Lacy, and we are now in for six. And the greatest part is we scored right before half. He did not end up getting anything. I would have shown you guys if he did. Uh, it was just a couple incomplete passes and a couple of trying to aggressive catches and you know incomplete passes. So he gets the ball coming at a half. But we are up a score, so no matter what, he cannot take the lead on us unless he goes for two. But here he makes a huge mistake. First and ten, he goes back deep. And can you say, give me that? Oh baby, oh baby, we finally get the INT. I was talking to him, he told me he hit the wrong button. He went for the rack catch by accident, not the aggressive catch. And that would cause such a reaction. He wouldn't go up for the ball, my guy was. So we end up getting the INT, crucial mistake. And those are the type of situations in tournament games that you cannot make. You cannot make those mistakes because one possession could really determine it all. It's not like Mutt where you can get a couple stops, you don't have yoked up teams. So second and 13, we're dropping back, we're dropping back, we're dropping back. We're rolling out to the right. We end up trying to get rid of the ball. Uh, we do end up getting rid of the ball, throw it away. Third and 13, we're going to hit the out route. He sent, or the corner route, he sent pressure his way, which caused a bad throw on Aaron Rodgers, and he ended up trying to get up, and then he went down when he caught the ball. So we settled for a field goal, and the reason why I went with the Packers, guys, is because of Aaron Rodgers, just because I don't want anyone overthrowing any corner routes and shit like that. But I ended up switching to Seattle after I saw Aaron Rodgers overthrow a drag route later on in the, in the tournament. So anyway, uh, right here, he did the aggressive catch, then he hit the corner route. First and 10, he's dropping back to the right. He's going to hit one more corner out in the back of the end zone. He's going to get in for six. Very good play by Arozo. And now we are off to the races. 
first and 10 we're just gonna try and chew clock make this the last possession of the game try and make him use up all of his timeouts and knee the ball that's best case scenario but let's see maybe he'll get a stop we hit the corner out right there we stay in bounds it's very key the two minute warning is about to approach we hit the screen which is so clutch but he gets the shoestring tackle i could not believe it wow if that was anyone else maybe like a jamal charles anyone with like 90 plus speed it would have been a um it would have been a first down, but here we go. Crunch time, third and seven. He's got no timeouts. A first down wins it. We're rolling out. Ooh, Aaron Rodgers, we end up taking off. What a clutch call on my part, and that is going to seal the game, guys. We end up advancing. This was my first game. We played it on the big screen. It was being live streamed. That's going to be the end of the game, guys. It's the only recording I have from the tournament because it was live streamed, so I was able to get the recording of it, but I ended up going 3-0 in my round robin, went undefeated, and then lost in the Sweet 16 to shine. That's going to be the end of the video, guys. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you guys want to see some more ranked games and i will see you guys in the next video adio